see what's showing on him. There he is. Well, I got closer, it was a male. It had the little dots down there, but I uh, couldn't get an image of it. He got better business to do than hang around me. What's up, y'all? Sam Love of the Calumet Wilderness. I love the prairie. Yeah, I'm at the Griner Preserve, which is one of the Shirley Hines Land Trust Preserves. I think this one's one of my favorites. It is so varied out here. Prairie, wetlands, some old dunes, which are uh, connected with the uh, dunes along Ridge Road out here, so. Really wonderful. Some of it used to be used for uh, agriculture, but it's since been restored. We'll see how far I can get in. It gets a little wet and I do not have the right footwear. This is sort of a whim when I was out running some errands. So glad to have you along with. I love how stark the contrast is. You go from the open prairie into the woods. I love a good causeway too. Yeah, so I'm just out here searching for a little fall color. I'm gonna do some videos about that over the next few weeks. But first I wanna say thank you to all the subscribers, viewers, people leaving comments. Um, I definitely would like to know where some of your favorite spots in the Calumet region to go see fall color. Um, I also want to let everybody know that I've updated the closed captioning on almost all of these videos. Hopefully by the time you see this, even this one will be updated, so. Yeah, just a way to make nature a little bit more accessible, which is partially, you know, why I'm out here doing this. For those of you that can't get out, that noise is the interstate. That's I-65 way back there. When I got to the parking lot, there was another vehicle there, but I don't think anyone else is out here because I'm walking through a lot of spider webs on this path. So hopefully no uh, weird surprises up ahead. Hey, here's some fall color. To me, it smells like Fruit Loops. What about you? That's a damn shame. You know, I don't think it's a balloon, but whatever it is, it's a damn shame. All right, little, little dune ridge up ahead there. So I think this is the back end of the Calumet shoreline. Uh, if you know about the different shorelines that have formed since the glaciers melted. So it, it gets more clear when you look at a topographical map of the region. But basically, you know, you'd have this here and then maybe some wetlands and then the uh, dunes that are along what are Old Ridge Road out here in Hobart and then behind me would have been mostly wetlands until you came to um, what it's believed were some islands in the ancient lake which today uh, <clears throat> excuse me which today is uh, known as Hobart Island and I grew up on there on the back end of that I, if you can't tell, I really enjoy exploring the ancient landscapes of this beautiful region. Sand. What does that tell you used to be here? Besides more sand. There's a cemetery, uh, Evergreen Memorial Park. And you can get a good sense of the 
swoop of the land there. Just such a cool area out here. You know, you got these probably 10, 11,000 year old dunes. Behind me, you've got the cemetery, beautiful oak woods and prairie plants and off to the side wetlands. I mean, if there's any place around here where there's magic and spirits, I, I think it's around here. I can just imagine the lake just beyond these dunes. Maybe if I really want to use my imagination, I can pretend the interstate is the roar of the lake, but I'm not going to be fooling myself. Nevertheless, beautiful preserve. I definitely recommend getting out here for a hike. Well, it was great to have you with on that little walk there. I really appreciate it. And again, let me know where are some of the, your favorite spots to see fall color out here in the Calumet region. Hey, Sam Love in the Calumet Wilderness. Please subscribe, please share with your friends, and please stay tuned for another adventure in the Calumet Wilderness. Take care.